Hello viewers today's tutorial about cyclic structure of carbohydrates monosaccharides can be found in linear form known as fischer projection or cyclic form which is known as haworth projection the conversion from linear to cyclic structures occur due to ability of hydroxyl group at carbon number 5 or 4 to react with aldehyde or ketones thus monosaccharides having more than 4 carbon usually exist as cyclic form the cyclic structure of 5 carbon or 6 carbon monosaccharides are more stable that's why it prefer cyclic configuration when the 6 carbon monosaccharides adopt cyclic conformation the carbon number 1 which is known as anomeric carbon will push the oxygen atom either upward or downward and the hydroxyl group in linear structure if on the right side it will be represented downward on the ring and those on the left side will be up on the ring so if we look at this cyclic structure hydroxyl group at carbon number 2 is downside because in linear structure it was on the right side similarly if hydroxyl group on carbon number 1 which is anomeric carbon is up the ring that will be beta anomer and if down the ring it will be alpha anomer so two stereo isomers will form in cyclic structure one thing more to remember the six carbon monosaccharides can have pyranose or furanose structure if it adopt five ring structure it will be known as pyranose if four ring structure it will be termed as furanose finally to sum up the tutorial following things you have to notice if you look at the cyclic structure of monosaccharides number 1 if it is four carbon ring structure then it will be furanose or if it is a five carbon ring structure then it will be pyranose or pyrone number 2 look at the position of hydroxyl group at anomeric carbon if it is upside the ring then it is beta anomers or if the hydroxyl group is down the ring then it is alpha anomers number 3 look at the position of other hydroxyl group on the ring because it will help in identification of different isomers of monosaccharides hope you have got some basics info about monosaccharides see you in next tutorial please don't forget to subscribe for the next tutorials